How you guys doing? Good. How you doing? Good. Are there things you worked on during the off season or still working on to uh, get better this year as opposed to just general improvement? Are there specific things? Oh, of course. Work? You know, uh, making the game slow down, man. So, you know, in the sense of pre-snap keys, O-line indicators, you know, working my eyes. Uh, then from fundamentals and technique, I did a lot of pass rushing, man, a lot of flipping the hips, you know, a lot of power, working a lot of speed. Um, it's a combo of things. And also from the run standpoint, man, you know, anchoring down, being able to uh, hut your feet, you know, play the box, read blocks, you know. But the biggest thing for me was just, you know, reading pre-snap keys, you know, uh, so I can get a jump on the snap or, you know, an advantage when it comes um, to snap of the ball. What has Coach Joe brought to the run that maybe is a little bit different than the uh, Coach Joe brought a lot of grit, man. He's bringing it out, uh, bring it, bringing it out a lot of us, man. And uh, fundamentals and technique, man. He, he's a master of what he do, and he coached a lot of great guys, man. So just being able to have him as our coach is, you know, a great thing for our D line room, man. He's going, he's probably one of the best in the game, man. And our D line is doing great right now. A lot of improvement. Frank Clark talked about some changes he made over the off season. What have you seen differently from him in camp, whether it's physically or mentally? Just more yeah, he's locked in, man. This is probably the most locked in I've ever seen him. You know, he's, you know, getting everybody integrated, communicating, so the whole D-line's working together. And I think that's the biggest thing, having chemistry on the D-line so you can have success and uh, be able to, you know, uh, push guys and stuff. I think he's doing a great job doing that, and he's being a leader, man. So uh, we look up to him, and, you know, um, he's a great football player. Do you think you noticed today, Mike, as being on? Finally able to like do football as close as yeah. you can to the real thing. Yeah, it was great, man. You know, putting the uh, pass back on was great. You know, everybody's competing, everybody's you know uh, trying to win the job, and it's a lot of grit out here. So uh, we put the pads on. It was a lot of banging, and you know, I'm looking forward to coming back tomorrow. You put an emphasis on trying to get better with the pass rush. They draft Carloftis. They've added Carlos. He'll be out here. Frank lost mm -hmm. weight and changed his diet, and all the work you put in. What's the upside from the edge rushers? Because obviously that's mm -hmm. something that the team wanted to, to get better at in the offseason. Well, listen, we're all trying to have a career year. We're all trying to do what we got to do. And uh, when it comes time for that, man, all we can do is just rush the passion and listen to what Coach Joe taught us, apply it to the game, and come out here and work on it every single day. And it's about getting better every day, man. We got to work on our craft and do what we got to do to make our pass rush better and have that chemistry so, you know, when it comes time in the season, we can be rolling, man. See George out here, but how is he behind the scenes, maybe acclimated to, to the room? Oh, he's a great kid, man. You know, I got a lot of respect, a lot of love for the rook, man. He came, man. He understood the playbook. Um, he he he's a true student in the game, man. I see he want to learn. He he works hard. He has a lot of heart and effort. So uh, I, I like playing with him, man. You know, he makes he bring the young dog out of me. So it felt like um, it, it's just great playing with all them guys, man. I'm excited to get Dunlop in the room, learn from him, man. Uh, all the additions. We're looking forward to, you know, uh, seeing what we all can do to do, do together. Uh, absolutely, man. Having a career year, five plus, six plus sacks. Uh, having, you know, being a dominant uh, force for the D-line, D you know, for the defense. I think everybody this year is expecting to have a career year because how much work we put in through the spring, through the uh, this summer camp. So everybody's having high expectations. And like I said, this is the time we get better and stack them days so we can have them career years and do what we got to do. Mike, what has Joe Cohen been like as a new D-line coach? What's his experience like with him? Oh, it's great, man. He, he makes us work hard. He um, asks us how hard we can play, man. So, you know, uh, that, that brings a lot of effort. You know, he, he brings a lot of grit to us. And it's a lot of attitude, man. A lot of dudes is playing with a lot more intensity and uh, a lot more physicality. And, you know, as a D-line, that's what we need. Mike, I remember when you were drafting saying that they liked the idea of Chances with Joe, maybe move inside to sort of, you know, have some spots where you can play versus just. Oh yeah, man. See, we we was doing that in the spring. We got a little taste of that in the spring where I was doing a little two eye, three tack, you know, five tack, six tack, dropping back. So you know, uh, the more you can do, man. I'm just trying to um, do the best I can wherever the coach plug me. You know, understand the playbook, understand what to do next to me is doing. You know, just in case he go down, I got to move there, so I got a good understanding. But uh, all of that is great, man. You know, I just want to be uh, used the best I can. What are your thoughts on uh, Carl Loftus so far? Just the in oh, he's great, man. He's, he's real physical, has a lot of effort in him. 
Uh, he got a dog in him that, you know, he, he keeps competing, keeps coming back every single play. So that's great to see from a young guy. And um, I, I'm excited to see, you know, um, the, about the preseason starting in the next two weeks or next week. So um, looking forward to see what he can do. Two, two of the veteran leaders on the defensive side, Hitch and, and Matthew, moved on from last year. You got guys like Frank, Chris Jones, and Nick Bolton stepping up, bringing Justin Reed. What's the leadership like on the defensive side of the football trying to replace two veterans like you have to? You know, uh, we all just try to uh, keep each other up, man. You know, we're, it's, all, it's all about 11 guys on the field, and uh, the individual leadership is showing through these days where it's tough and it's hard. You know, you got Willie back there. You got 9-5 in the middle. Everybody's vocal. Everybody's trying to keep each other up. You know, uh, it's a different year. You know, uh, it's a lot of new, uh, new additions, and... We're looking to have that same fight, that same competitive spirit, if not more. Uh, like I said, it's a lot of grit that's, um, that's, that's being brought to the um, table between the guys. So uh, everybody's trying to make a point. Everybody's just trying to have that team chemistry and that bond, you know, uh, just in case, like, you know, when things get rough, things get hard, we fall back on each other, you know, fall back on our leaders. And, you know, they keep us uh, strong together. Danielle? You know, we, right. we talked to a couple of other guys about kind of the importance of talking about men's mental health. Do you feel like there's a stigma where, where men are kind of ashamed to talk about that because you're trying to be like a tough guy or anything like that? How important do you think it is that, yeah. that you and your teammates open up about that stuff and are willing to be yeah, right there? Yeah, uh, mental health is serious, man. Uh, it's, a, it's a serious thing off the field. You know, a lot of guys try to flamingo it and just try to uh, just leave it leave it on the table and kind of act like we're men. We can just deal with things. But, you know, you got to you fall back on your brother sometimes. You got to be able to talk to somebody and vent to somebody, you know, Holding it in some isn't all, isn't good for everybody, you know. Uh, I've tried myself to express more to my family, my friends. Something's on my chest with my teammates. I talk to them, you know. It's just about having the, communi uh, the commu uh, communication and the chemistry to, you know, be able to com be be comfortable to have those conversations and to take that next step. So mental health is serious. So um, we take it very serious here. We got you know one of the best therapists in the game on our team, and Dr. T, and he's a great guy. So. If anybody you don't know, need it here, you guys can holler at me. <laughs> Any last questions? All right, thank you for Thank you.